you know, certainly, as you said in, in your lecture, access is everything, and and part of that uh, access is is to have uh, a speculum that uh, gives you that access. Uh, I, I don't think there's any perfect speculum out there, but there's all certainly speculi that have good characteristics that uh, you know enable you to perform your surgery more safely. Uh, the things I, I look for in a speculum, uh, I like to have a very light speculum that doesn't put any posterior pressure on the globe. And often that means it's a titanium speculum, uh, which is a nice light material as opposed to a, a stainless steel material. Uh, I like to have the blades opening more horizontally uh, rather than some of the speculi tend to drag the eye uh, downwards and, and give you that posterior vitreous pressure problem as well. Uh, the, the actual blades, it, it's nice to have a guarded speculum uh, and that controls the, the lids better. But the problem with the guarded speculum is that you, you can't get your FACO probe in. So, so if you want to do combined uh, FACO uh, trabeculectomy or, or say even uh, combined with, with graft surgery. So it, you actually need an open blade to perform the uh, FACO emulsification part. Uh, with the open speculi, there, there is a downfall in that it can easily catch a suture. So, so you have to be very aware of your suture not looping around one of the little arms of, of the speculum and, and catching. With the control mechanism, the, the actual screw part uh, of the speculum, uh, it's nice to be able to control the opening and you don't really get that, uh, say with a wire speculum, like the wire speculum, it, it depends on the tensile strength of the actual wire uh, on how much opening you get. Uh, so a, a screw mechanism is nice, uh, and it also holds that uh, aperture, uh, even if the patient is uh, s squeezing a lot. The screw mechanism, say in the say the Barrett speculum, uh, is actually sticking upwards, and uh, the good thing about it is you can uh, turn it the other way, so you can turn that screw around so the screw is facing downwards. And that certainly helps avoiding getting that suture uh, getting caught around the screw. Um, I, like on the Lieberman and, and the McCool speculum, the, the actual screw mechanism is is quite away from the operative field, so so that's uh, quite a nice feature.